So Maurice Chakes make Chiefs making a change. Andre Iguodala, Chris Webber, Kevin Ali, and Allen Iverson remain the other four starters for Chiefs. Meanwhile, for the Knicks, as Al Troutwick mentioned, the 40th different starting lineup with the two roses up front, and Nate Robinson moves in to the backcourt with Steve Francis. Get the team doctor to say, okay, he needs them. But the league just doesn't want to make it a fashion statement. A part of the uniform that every player can just throw them on. As Iguodala puts the first one in, because all was nice and warm. Yeah, every track athlete has them on. You know, they've been wearing them for years. They know how good they are for you. If you, if you wear them for the right reasons. Yeah, the NBA players, as Marbury puts in a ring. Terrific veteran. Good stabilizer for the team. And it's Dallenbear back in the starting lineup. Yeah, nice move from Samuel. Energy guys in for the Knicks. You got Malik Rose and you have Nate Robinson. You know, where Steph is a skilled player, obviously, he so throws that great back. Dallenbear quickly clears it. Oh, nice move from Kevin Ali. Not known for his offense. Pretty left nice hand as well. He's third in the league in disqualification. He gives him a stutter step and he gets back to the middle but never touches the ball again with his, with his right hand. That's pretty nice. But Steph seeing Nate on the back door. Good luck. Poor defense from Iverson that time, not spotting it. You know, Steph is, is commands attention, and Allen got we will try and turn it around and secure that eighth spot. The Iguodala. And Andre Iguodala. But he, I don't think he's fast. Iguodala's fast, he's quick, and he jumps. Like he has more. Of the whole athletic package. Rose, nice little ball. Came back in November when Nate Robinson hit the shot at the buzzer in overtime. And they lost by 16 in Philly in a game that Iverson didn't play. Weber drills it. Weber's still putting up the terrific numbers on the offensive. Yeah, he's just a step a step or two slower. And this is going to be a dunk. Alley for Iguodala. Well, the turnover leads to an easy two, and the Sixers up by turning the offense, turning the offense here. And as Iguodala showing his athletic ability, it's down two. Sixers in a bit of a zone on the inbound. Robinson for three. Nate Robinson knocks it down. Obviously, Iverson, one of his basketball guys that he's always watched. Kevin Alley to Weber, and Weber and a foul. Chris is just smart around the basket, but he understands how to get to the rim, how to finish, how to use the defense. That has been their problem, much like the Knicks this year. Weber given an extra room again and can still knock that shot down. He's much more comfortable doing that than driving to the basket. Weber. Trying to drive on Taylor. See, this is a little bit. Uh, he hits that shot, but I, that's more uncomfortable for him. Uh, but he got back into down. There's Marbury able to get the save. You see, Iguodala. He's got such great length in addition to the quickness. But Marbury beats oh, him. Nice and Curry and a foul. Marbury with a beautiful setup and Eddie Curry to finish. I mean, Steph makes his mind up that he's going to get into the, to the paint. He can get there, but then he makes a good left-handed behind and back pass to Curry, and he finishes it. Now, that's a good move because, one, not only to make the move, to have the strength and to find Eddie Curry and step together at times because the two bring different styles, and they complement each other uh, in terms of, you know, it's event. How about this? The Knicks are 10 of 13 from the field. That's 77%. Weber hits another one. The Sixers are 11 of 16 from the field. And that's 68%. With the uh, left knee that apparently is bothering him. Iverson. Iverson lost it. Nate Robinson picks it up. Here comes Robinson on the roll. Three on one. Alley up to Curry. Nate Robinson made that play by accelerating and getting the open look. Well, he has the, he has the intensity and the energy to get to the to spot. Has come to the gym. Oh, yeah, come to the gym. Always. This is the gym. If you, if you lose sight, he does the Barber swing taking a around. kick in the head. With a four-point lead. Iverson quickly down the other end. Draws the foul. Shot won't go, but he'll shoot two. As we wind down the opening period. And this is where Allen Iverson has a pretty good crossover in this part of the game right now. 
Robinson defends him very well, but a good pass and Randolph the finish. For New York right now. Can't you on it. 3.7 <laughs> remaining. Crawford. Iguodala defends it well. Count it. And Crawford knocks it in. As the buzzer sounds, they'll review it. But the ruling actually counts. Yeah, Jamal is great in this situation, a 1-4 set. He's able to get his shot off, gets it off right at the buzzer. It's released, gone and good. Tip it can't hold on. Michael Bradley gets it. Bradley takes his time, blocked by Curry. Yeah, that's going to get punched. He went in there softly, but this is a two-on-one. Put that Wilson finish. And but Curry! And Curry with a good strong follow. 12 points. For Yeah, here's off to the races, a two-on-one. Quentin Riptail Woods misses it, but Eddie Curry, this is something that he's made. He's made that deal for him. Larry Brown still knows he's got a long ways to go, rebounding a defense. As the Knicks turn it over again, Iverson bolting up the floor. And it's back to a one-point game. And I Second, along with Kenny Smith and Al Troutwick, Mike Green on hand. Jerome James gets inside. Good, strong finish from James. Rebound. Iverson's been very quiet, but just on cue, he now has 11 points. And you know, you could see what he said dribbling up the court. He said, I'm going to find a spot. And wherever the rebound. Gets it inside to Iverson. Nate Robinson lost him. And Iverson now all of a sudden starting the basketball. He, he will find you. You don't have to really do too much, but a behind and back on the move asked to get there before the, the ball gets there before Allen. Weber spots up. Yeah, Weber shooting the ball nicely. Six five knocked out of his hands by Weber. Ball knocked loose though, and Jalen Rose misses the layup. What a quick follow. Here with the Sixers and posted up. Ball inside. Dallin Bear and a foul. See, they think the advantage now is Andre Iguodala. Win loss standpoint, but Philly, if they want to make the playoffs, this is a game they really sh should get. Weber inside, Dallenbear the finish. And the Sixers have come alive here in the third quarter. Dallenbear having a big period. And that's what I mean, you let them come alive. Because before you get, you almost had a win, but you let them come alive, and now they have an opportunity to play for something. Their energy level increases, their, their alertness, and a good pass by Chris Weber for the top. The first half. Crawford with the shot clock winding down, gets inside again, and then draws the foul. Ball deflected. Mo Taylor, good defense, but can't hold on to it. And the Sixers get it back. And a broken play turns into a layup. And the Sixers have come all the way back to... Iverson gets inside. A oh, pretty move from Allen Iverson. And had to pull back. He gets by him. Watch he lean back into him, and Nate has to pull back. And that allows him to get the shot off. If he doesn't do that, if he doesn't go into Nate, Nate blocks the shot or a contestant, but he able to fight back. No, they still trail by three. Iverson gets it inside. Weber and a foul. So Weber, he's got 25. Yeah, I, I don't know if um, the Knicks short in the game, they've got a better chance to win. I, I don't believe the Knicks have an opportunity. Yeah. And another lazy pass, and Iverson goes down, misses it, but Corver right there for the follow, and the Sixers have opened up an eight-point lead. I understand how to play that style, because they've been playing it now. Wow! Woods. Oh, strong finish again, comes flying in, and Quinto Woods with a chance for a three-point play. And, that, and you know, that is one of the... Uh, as a great pass here, weak side, you swing it, you go to the basket, and Quinto Woods knows how to finish. Woods, who had a big game the other night. Guards like Stefan, you have guards like uh, Nate, you have guards like Steve, who are probably better suited for up-tempo. But then you have some plotters like Nate, like uh, Jerome James. And... Do you, you... You have to find a balance. As a head coach, you have a certain style that you want. But if you force out Crawford, nice shot and a foul. And Crawford with a chance for a three-point play. 
We'll get to that in a second. Good move by Carl. He's good off the dribble. We, we've seen that all night. Off the dribble to the basket now. They haven't adjusted to his style, but there has to be some adjusting by the head coach as well. Iverson, that's a three-pointer. And Iverson now with 36. Donated endless amount of money and time and effort. And then Hurricane Katrina. Iverson the well. Oh. Allen Iverson with his eighth assist. Listless. You know, Allen comes in, Jerome comes over, and then boom, he gets it put on. In that there haven't been enough times this season where players have looked to answer back, and I mean more with a basketball play than any kind of verbal thing. Taylor answers back. And the Knicks within seven. I think it's time, seeing if you're going to offensive side. On Portland, on a moving screen. It's Crawford to James, blocked by Weber, but right there, and the follow is Crawford. Paul Crawford, an aggressive game. He's got 16 points off the bench. Weber left open. Tried to bank it. Iguodala on the follow. Taylor gets inside. Nice move from O'Taylor. You don't see many off the dribble. Taylor with 12. Yeah, just a bad foul from Malik Rose. Again, everything hurt. You know, Rose complaining, but that was a foul. There's no question. He didn't hurt anybody. He kind of knew himself. <laughs> Iverson on the pull-up. Puts it in. 42. Whoa. Iverson. It's good. Allen Iverson. With 44. And see, this goes back to the point I was talking about. It puts a lot of pressure on the defensive. And if you're not a good defensive team like the Knicks aren't right now, you know, you need all the possession you can get. Oh, Crawford finds an angle. It looked like there was. Most point a player scored against the Knicks this year. Gilbert Arenas had 46. Chris Weber has 32. And has 44. May Robinson gets inside. But it comes up short, and he'll shoot two. Uh, they got hit. How about Nate Robinson? 12 before. Without question, he's not going to shoot until it's about four or five on the shot clock. Now looks to make the move. Gets it back, Weber. Good defense. Spinning. Tough shot by Weber. Puts it in. And that makes it an eight-point game with 34 seconds. 34 for Weber. 44 for Iverson. Robinson goes to the hole. Easily lays it in. It's a very important win from them. They'll snap a three-game losing streak. They're right back. And Nate Robinson has the first 30-point game of the third against the Knicks this year, tying Gilbert Arenas. Robinson pushes off, puts up the jumper. Well, the Knicks are going to lose their spot. In the Eastern Conference, Crawford can't go. And that will do it. Despite a career night for Nate Robinson, the Knicks lose their seventh in a row and fall to 19 and 52 on the season. And